Hey everybody, welcome back to Strange Horticulture. It's Friday, day eight. We have a clue card here, which we don't have the will to actually use right now. Shuffle some things around. Ignoring our offer was a mistake, horticulturist. Uh, you're the uh, cultist. The Dendru has awoken. The redemption is upon us, and when it arrives, you will not be spared. Uh, sir? Mr. Ennis Aylford? Get the heck out. The Cultist. A man who claims to represent the group known as the Seeds of Redemption. He grew up in nearby Gosforth, but is rumored that he spent some time living in Redal Cave. It is not clear what happened in the intervening years. But by the time he came to Undermere, he had dedicated his life to the one he calls the Woken Dendru. Alright, get out of here, sir. Alright, so let's check. Um, I should have put that, hold on, let me, let me move some things to archive. You can go to archive. This thing from the uh, cultist, you can go to archive. Get out of here. Lo Lowick to Ilgil Head. Lowick is here. Ilgil Head. Um, where the heck is that? There. Okay. So this line. Not a not a perfect forty-five degree angle. Foxfield to Crinkle Crags. There's Crinkle Crags. Where's Foxfield? Foxfield. So, is this like if I draw, like if I draw a line between? You can't see me like actually using my fingers on my on my monitor. If I draw a line from here to here, and I try to, figure out where that line intersects with the line from Lowick to Ilgil Head. It's kind of like around here, but I think it's not very precise if that's what he wants me to do. So I'm like, we'll do this and somewhere on this line between Foxfield and Crinkle Crag it feels like it's kind of like here-ish? I don't know, let's do it and see what happens. I don't know how precise you actually had to be to actually get that, but I'm glad we got it. The magpie sees me before I see it. I do not know how long it has been watching me, but I can tell that it is interested in my movements. A strange sensation creeps over me and I feel an urge to leave this place, but not before collecting a plant for further study, one for sorrow. Turning to leave, I see another magpie and another plant I've never seen before. Two for joy. Alright, couple purple plants. Let's get those out of my... My identified pile. Put the map away. Call the next witness, I mean, guest, customer. My mind is clouded, dark. I see it and it sees me, all of me. Elder Finium is the answer, it must be. I will not forget those who helped me, horticulturist. Um, who are you again? You're just unknown. The mysterious woman in the jade mask. Didn't, um... Didn't, like, one of these ladies see a woman in a jade mask in her mind? 
She says something about a woman in a jade mask. The woman in the jade mask. Yeah, so Faye Swift sees this lady in her dreams, and now she's coming to me. Okay. You want some Elder Finium? Well, we found it recently, according to the map. Or the, using the little special seeing eye. But I did not... I did not uh, identify it at the time or put a label on it. The petals of this flower can be brewed to create an antidote to Dendra's miasma, a deadly poison that causes the blood to slowly turn black and eventually resulting in a painful death. It has an intoxicating scent, scent similar to that of Solomon's Scepter. Okay, so it has a scent similar to Solomon's Scepter. Solomon's Scepter smells... Sweet. <laughs> well, I have some Solomon's Scepter. Can I smell it? Smells alluring. Okay, so that doesn't help me. Yeah, sorry, lady. Sorry. Um, just hang out on the counter for a little bit. I'm going to look for this Elder Finium. Just a moment. It's got to be this one, right? A strong, sweet aroma. Yeah, that, that looks like it. I think this is your Elder Finium. Alright, so we get some knowledge about Lark Shine. We'll put this away. Alright, um, I have the Will to Explore again, so we still haven't figured out this card. The Kent Mere Eye. Well, we do know where Kent Mere is, and we tried to go to it, and it was nothing. But I see there's a stone circle up here, the Daughters. It's near Kent Meter. It's a circle. An eye is kind of like a circle. So maybe we can try there. It Worst case scenario, we die. The circle of ancient rhyolite boulders has been a site of ritual importance for hundreds of years. A, a lone pillar of red sandstone stands off to one side. All right, well, that didn't really do it. Still don't know what the Kentmere Eye is. Hello, Grace Enright. My mum was into horticulture. I found this among her things. Golden Light. That's a plant, right? I'm not sure what Long Meg could mean, though. Is that another plant? Anyway, I thought you should have it, just in case it's any help. She loved this shop. Well, you know, I'm sorry that uh, she's not around anymore, apparently. Golden Light. Start at Long Meg. S3E2. Golden Light? Start at Long Meg. Well, let's just figure out what is S3. Um, S3 is like off the map. E2 is nothing. Long Meg. Is that some sort of, um, like anagram? Like Long Meg could be something else kind of misspelled? I have no idea what Long Meg is. Golden Light, start at Long Meg, S... Oh, South 3, East 2. Okay, go South 3, and then East 2. From Long Meg. Gosforth, Low Wood, Ravenglass, Boodle... Long Meg? Have I just, like, missed something?
Okay, well, you know what? I don't know what Long Meg is, and I don't want to waste any more time staring at the screen and missing it. So, I'm going to put this away. And I actually am going to, well, I'm going to bring it right back and try to go to the Riddle Cave, because we know that that guy apparently spent some time in Riddle Cave. A large, dark pool sits in the belly of the cavernous opening of Riddle Cave. I suppress a shudder at the thought of the monsters that could lurk beneath the serene surface. Alright, well, uh, we'll keep that as a clue. Maybe we'll figure out what Long Meg is. Help me! The amulet! I can't remove it and it's drawing the life from me. You want some Long Varicund. Have we, uh, identified Long Varicund? No. Well, you just stay alive, Miss Anne Wood. That long stem, sometimes called Witch's Remedy, the long varicund is believed to lift curses. Small leaves grow in pairs along the stem. This looks like it has long stems and small leaves. I don't know what the flower looks like, but uh, hopefully this is it, madam. I can feel it working, thank you. Oh, wait, did you just... Did you just change? Like, I wasn't looking, but you were an old woman a second ago, right? I guess you actually don't have a card. Okay, thanks for coming. We identified the long Varicund, and we get a book entry on Cauldry. Alright, next up. Amos Duncan. Oh, you're the guy that's been sending me letters. It's good to see you, my friend. I've been on the road so long, I started to wonder if you were still on the other end of the letters I've been sending. Yes, I've been here. I'm back in town for a few days, though, and I wanted to give you these before I forgot. Okay, what are you giving me, sir? I found them in the pocket of an overcoat that belonged to your uncle. I almost threw them away, but I thought the symbols on them might mean something to you. Four notes. Okay, and I have the fifth note, actually. But I don't know what order they go in. Does it matter what order they go in? So now I have five of them. And I can line these up. This goes to this. This goes to this. I need this plant to be upside down. Okay. Can I, can I shift? I mean, I still don't know what I'm doing with this, sir. I have them all, but I don't know what order they need to be in, so... Long Meg. Is there, there's, is there anything in the... Is there a plant called Long Med? Long Varicund? But I don't know where it's grown. Maybe I can't do anything about Long Meg just now. Or maybe I'm just an idiot. Could be that one. Alright. Next person, please. Hello, Simone. I have no idea what any of this means, but it seems like something you might find interesting. I found it while clearing out the nook of the East Wing. Okay, a letter. Is this going to tell me what order to put it in? Baylock's Elixir. Okay, that's the end of the day. Made from the crushed petals of three distinctive plants, Baylock's Elixir is a potent aid to memory, allowing those who drink it to ensure they retain important information that they will never forget. Air must be taken after drinking, however, to avoid the fate of Grey Gale, who slowly lost her mind after taking Baylocks and staring at a blank wall for 12 hours. Okay, but I don't know how to, like, mix things, so thanks. But, uh... 
Should I take the time to explore a little bit more? Long Meg. Start at Long... Is there anything I can see? Long Meg? Long Meg? Is there anything on my map that might be long... Is Long Meg like the tall tree? The Great Oak? The Tomb of the Hunter? What if I just started from the Great Oak? Maybe that's what the Long Meg is. Or maybe I'll stare at the... I think I've stared at the screen quite a while, though. Is it just bad handwriting? Is it upside down? I was trying to figure out, is it upside down? Is it, okay. South to east, south three, east two. Is there anything south three, east two from N9? One, two, one, two, three. One, no, that would put me like here. That's, that's a, a nothing burger. Why did I come here? Exactly. All right, end day. A young woman alone in the world. She was taken in by the sisterhood and given a home. It was a chance for redemption, a new start. Day 9, Saturday, which we will do in the next episode. I'm trying not to make these overly long. So thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you again next time.